In this video we will look at the basic concepts of visualization. Let's keep only one profile visible. Here is three buttons that switch the modes of visualization. We can see the first mode of visualization is active now. In this mode program plots the bore profile as a single line curve. Vertical axis corresponds the bore diameter in millimeters. Horizontal axis corresponds the length from top of the flute in millimeters. Let's switch on the second mode of visualization. In this mode, you can see the cross-section graph of the bore based on the points of the measurement table. Vertical axis corresponds radius of the bore in centimeters, but the unit of measurement could be changed to the millimeter. In this mode, you can stretch the canvas grid along the diameter axis by the zoom tool. We can stretch the grid by keeping the left mouse button pressed and moving the mouse up. We drag the mouse down to narrow the grid. Let's make the second profile visible. We can see the both graphs now. Each graph have a degree of transparency, that's why we can see them together. This mode is good to see the difference between a profiles. Distance between this marks is 10 millimeters. And here distance is 100 millimeters. We can see how much the canvas grid is stretched along the radius axis. Let's move on to the next mode. Third mode of visualization is the proportional grid. In this mode you can see the cross-section graph of the bore as in previous mode. The difference is that in this mode grid is proportional. Everything looks like a plan without any distortion of proportions. Let's check it in different zoom values. This is a square centimeter surrounded by the grid lines. When we zoom in, it becomes larger and remains the proportions. The cross-section graph of the bore is proportional likewise the coordinate grid in this mode. Let's look at the both profiles together. How the modes of visualization are related. All three modes use the same segment of the length axis. That's why the same part of the bore is visible in all the modes of visualization. Let's look how it works.
One more feature is how the measurement points are visualized in last two modes. In the single curved mode a measurement point is visualized as the dot and its linear axis projections. In the cross section modes a measurement point is visualized as the line's corresponding length and diameter. It looks like a sketch of a measurement tool inserted in the bore.